guys welcome back okay so it's time for me to go ahead and shop my stash again but before I shop my stash I did want to just quickly go through the items that I've been using over the past week or two J no actually it's been longer than that it's been a couple of weeks I think I think <laughs> since I last shot my stash but you guys know when I buy things or things arrive in the mail I kind of will put them in my stash as well and start playing with them but anyways I wanted to go through the items that I've been using for the past couple of weeks just to give you my thoughts on them some of them you guys already know my thoughts um, but some newer items you might not be aware of what I think of them. So I just wanted to kind of go through those right quick before I do my next shop, my stash, just to give you a recap. So let's just jump right in. I have everything in this little container right here. Now let's start off with this finishing powder, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I did pull this to use and I have been using it over the last couple of weeks, getting more acquainted with it, more familiar with it. Um, and I like it. <laughs> I really, really like this stuff. It just gives my face a nice, smooth, finished look once I finish all of my makeup. So I do like that for sure. Next, of course, my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. This is the loose powder. I do use the shade Golden Bronze. <laughs> And I fell in love with this stuff. I got it in a boxy charm, and this stuff is just oh, I love it, love it, love it. It's super fine. Whenever I use it, it leaves my under eyes wherever I put it. Basically, it blurs me out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little net in there, and it's just like the best loose setting powder to me. I love it. It took a little getting used to because it feels a little different going on but absolutely my favorite right now okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the concealers that i've been using now this first one here the nyx hd concealer this one i've actually been using before my foundation and i've been using this basically to cover up dark circles prior to me putting my foundation on <laughs> It works amazing. I love this stuff. The coverage is crazy because it does. It covers my dark circles. I don't even have to worry about it. When I go in with my other concealer, I just go in for brightening. So yeah, I like using this one specifically for my dark circles and the discoloration around my mouth as well. I also pulled this CoverGirl. Y'all, let me get my glasses and quit playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I also pulled this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, this one here. I knew I liked it. I just did not remember how much I liked it until I started using it again. This stuff has some serious coverage, okay? Very nice consistency. It's not drying at all, and it blends out very nicely. The shade that I use is Golden Caramel, so it works out very nicely for me like that concealer i also used my juvia's place in the shade 11 this is definitely one of my favorite concealers i know some people don't really care for it i love it this stuff has coverage for real and it blends out nicely and the shade 11 works great for my skin tone it's not too bright and it's not too dark so works great for me now i also <laughs> started using this p louise base this was a gift to me from my girl Lily, and I was kind of worried because I was like, oh, is it going to be too moist, too damp, too wet? You know, I like a dry base, um, but I like it. I love the way it dries down because it's not like wet and damp and all of that stuff, even though it looks like it because a lot of people use a nice, thick, even base, and I'm more of just kind of like a tap, tap blend just to make sure I have a base in place but I love this stuff it works really really well I'm so so thankful that she sent me that <laughs> very very happy okay my pretty vulgar mascara I was using this I've basically been using this on my lower lashes because I have been wearing falsies quite a bit lately I do like this mascara I think that it adds more volume than length 
though, just in my opinion, but I think it does add a little bit of both. You know, it does give a little bit of length and volume. Uh, let's see what else. My foundations that I used. The Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I did pick this up from the boxy add-on or pop-up or whatever. I grabbed the shade Maple, which when I put it on, it does come off like a little bit light, a little bit off. But once I do put on the rest of my makeup, because I never just put on foundation, I always put on a full face of makeup, powder, concealer, all of that. It works out well. <laughs> this shade, it works out well for me. I think um, with the limited shades that they had available in the boxy pop up or pop up or add on, that this was probably my best choice. So I like it. This foundation has crazy coverage. I'm talking full coverage and it is a little bit thick so if you don't like full coverage and a little bit of thickness then you might not like this i also pulled my nars foundation this one is the shade new orleans or dark two and it is the all day luminous weightless foundation i bought this uh quite a while ago I don't really reach for it because it does leave me a bit orange. <laughs> it does have an orange undertone for me, which I'm not orange, I'm more golden. So it does make me look a little orange, a little dark. As far as the coverage, very nice coverage, very nice matte finish. It's not, um, it says it's luminous, but on me, it just looks matte, you know? So I do like this foundation, the shade. I have to check out another shade because that one is a little too orange. Okay, what else did I try out? Um, I did use my Desi and Katie Chasing the Sun highlighter. And this highlighter, very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let me go ahead and give you a close up. It's very, very nice, very smooth. It goes on with kind of like that nice, wet, glow from within type of look, which I absolutely love. Um, but you do have to go easy because it is very, very pigmented, okay? But I really, really like it. I did use my Benefit Pore Professional. This is a little sample of primer, you know, their regular original Pore Professional primer. I got this, I think from Sephora, I don't know. I got it from somewhere, a little sample. And I'm just about done with it. I like this primer. <laughs> And the reason why I like this primer is because I have crazy pores. I really do, especially right here on my cheek area, right in this area. It is like pothole city, okay? So this stuff works really, really well to help smooth out my skin, okay? So I like it. It's a drier um, primer formula. So if you like something really nice and moisturizing and all that stuff, uh -uh, this ain't for you. <laughs> This one is if you like to be mattified and dried and smoothed out, which that's what I need, okay? So I love this professional primer, love it. Let's talk about the serum and moisturizer that I have been using. I think I picked a different moisturizer, but I don't know, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was my Good Molecules that I love to use. I kind of kicked that to the curb to start using this Juno & Co moisturizer and i really like this stuff i was really hard on this moisturizer because honey i know skincare is expensive very expensive but i'm not used to paying a lot for skincare because i get a lot of stuff in my box of charm okay so i don't spend a lot of money on skincare i just rely on what i get from my monthly subscription boxes so with this juno and co i was really hard on it because i'm like hey 35 dollars it better be a good moisturizer and I really like this moisturizer. Now, I still cannot bring myself to say I would pay $35 for this. I got a two for one deal, so technically I paid $17.50 for this, okay? <laughs> but I really, really do like it. Would I would pay $17.50 for it again. <laughs> but this stuff is so rich and thick and creamy. You do not need a lot of this. At least I don't. My skin is not that dry where I need a lot of this because it's so thick. 
um, I just I just need a little and a little goes a long way and it feels amazing so I would give this an absolutely wonderful review but I still don't think it's worth $35 <laughs> okay now I've also been using my peach and lily glass skin refining serum I've been using this ever since I got it I still have a good amount in here as well I don't have to use a lot of this either and i love this stuff some of i you some of you guys have mentioned in my comments after i put this on that you like how it makes my skin look after i use this so yeah i love this stuff it is very very nourishing it just feels really good and it makes your skin just look so healthy and vibrant just like you know you really look awake and refreshed and your skin feels nice and supple and plump okay so i really really like this peach and lily this is the glass skin refining serum now let's talk about the bronzers that i use um i did try out this fenty beauty i'll be honest with you guys i don't remember what bronzers i chose in my last shot mustache <laughs> And I didn't bother to go back and look, okay? But I know I didn't pick this because I didn't have it yet. But I picked up this Fenty Beauty. This was one of their, you know, their original bronzers. This one is Coco Naughty, one of their Sun Stalker bronzers. And while the formula of this bronzer is really nice, smooth, blends out amazing, it's not dark enough for me. <laughs> and I thought, you know, for sure, Coco Naughty, you know, it bronzes me up nice because everybody talks about Coco Naughty. It's not dark enough for me, okay? Just like a setting powder for your girl. So anyway, it's cool and all, but it's not dark enough. So I have really been going in <laughs> with this new Black Radiance um, palette that I picked up. This is one of their contour palettes, but this one is the dark to deep. I already had the medium to dark, was it? Yeah, anyways, the one before this, that was the darkest, the medium to dark, I think. And I really, really like that one. This one, I absolutely love, okay? Love it, love it, love it. This center shade here, ugh, it works wonders for your girl, okay? When I use this, I feel like I just stepped off of the beach, honey, okay? I love this center color here to bronze up. And then if I wanna go in and, you know, do some actual contouring, this one is amazing. Haven't used the highlighter yet, but in the previous palettes, the highlighter works beautifully. So I don't expect this one to be any differently. But when I grab this palette, it's for that center shade there. Now, I also played around with this Juno & Co. Bombshell. But this is the Bombshell Face Palette that I got from Juno & Co. when I bought the moisturizer. This palette is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I showed you guys this and swatched it in my last Shop My Stash when I picked it. And I mean, you guys, if you remember the swatches for this, the blush is so nicely pigmented and beautiful. I actually used this as a highlighter. I said I wouldn't because it's so glittery and pink, but I actually tried it out just so that you could see how it looks on my skin tone. And it's not my cup of tea, it's gorgeous, but you know unless i'm doing something kind of bright and crazy and i want a highlighter looking like that i probably wouldn't use that this other highlighter up here this gold one perfect very very pigmented i mean it's it's some serious highlights so i really really like this palette very nice very beautiful and i'm glad i picked it up now for blush, I did pick two blush palettes. I did pick my Beauty Treats blush palette as well. It's the one with the large tin pans in it. I didn't even reach for it. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. I know I love that blush palette, so I'm not even gonna talk about that. This Morphe palette, I've used this in the past before as well, their 8C palette. And very, very nice blush palette. Beautiful shades in here. This one is their more cooler tone palette. I do want the warm one, but this is the more cooler tone palette with the beautiful mauves and purples and light pink shades in here. I think that it's a very well-rounded blush palette actually for a lot of different skin tones. Of course, I stay over in this range, but it's, it's really, really nice. So I already know I like this palette. 
Now this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer, I did not use this. Um, I don't even remember if I pulled this or if I just put it in here because I was gonna play around with it. But I did not try this out on my face yet. I'm kind of iffy about it because with it being their Banana Bright Face Primer, it seems like when I put some on that it was a little bit, it kind of had like that illuminating effect to it and I'm not really into that when it comes to primers. I don't really like being illuminated <laughs> and primed at the same time. But yeah, it's like, you see how you can kind of see a bit of illumination on there. And I just, I'm not really feeling that right now. So I know I didn't use that. This here is just my regular, you guys know, my eyebrow combination, my LA Girl Shady Slim Pencil and my Wet n Wild Concealer, same thing. So I don't need to talk about that. But yeah, that is basically my whole roundup of items that I used over the last couple of weeks. I think this video is a little bit long because <laughs> I talk too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and split off my Shop My Stash onto a different video. I'm gonna have the same eye look. I might change my clothes, but <laughs> I'm gonna film that right now, but I'm just gonna split it off because this video is long enough. So those are my thoughts and recap on my last shot, my stash. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Toodles!